Go to the WordPress admin panel and click on the plugins menu, select add new plugin. Click on upload plugin. Click choose file and upload the cool Fomkit plugin zip file here and press install now button. Click activate plugin. This will redirect you to cool form kit setting page. Here you should turn on the functionalities you require in Elementor Forms and click on Save Changes button. Now go to License tab. Here you must enter the license key and your email address and click on Activate License button. Here you can see the license key gets activated. Now go to Page menu and select Add New Page. Click on Edit with Elementor. This will open the Elementor editor. Choose the container type. Now, search for the form widget and drag it into the container. The default form has three fields. Now click on any field. And go to Conditions tab. Turn on Enable Conditions. Here you can apply field-based conditions like Hide or Show, Enable or Disable on this field. Now go to Button Sections. Turn on the Enable Conditions switch, you can apply various button-based conditions here. Now go to Actions after Submit section. Click on the plus icon. Select Redirect Conditionally, this will add a new Redirect Conditionally section. Click on it and turn on the Enable Condition switch. Here, you can set multiple redirection-based conditions that determine whether the user gets redirected after submitting the form or not. Now again go to Actions after Submit section. Click the plus icon and select Email conditionally from the drop-down. Click on Email conditionally section. Here, several email-related settings are available. Scroll down and look for Enable Condition Switch. Turn it on. Here you can set conditions based on which email should get send or not. Now go back to Cool Form Kit setting page in WordPress Admin Panel, turn on the rest of the functionalities to apply in Elementor Forms, and click on Save Changes button to save. Now go back to the Elementor Editor Panel. Update the page to save the previously done changes. Click any field. Click on Add Item. Enter the label name relevant to the field. Select Range Slider field type from the drop-down. As you can see the Range Slider field gets added to the form. You can customize the field as per your requirement. Click on the Style Settings and select any Range Slider style as you like. Click Update button to save and click Preview to see the changes on the front end. Here you can see the Range Slider is working absolutely fine. Now go back to Elementor Editor Panel, click Add Item. Enter the label name relevant to the field. Click on Type. And select Country Field from the drop-down. Here you can see Country Field gets added. Turn on Auto Detect to enable geolocation-based default country selection. Click on Update to save and preview to see the changes on the front end. The country field is working fine on the front end. You can either select the country from the drop down or you can directly enter the country name in the input. Now go back to Elementor Editor panel and click on Add Item. Select Rating field from the drop down. You can see Rating field gets added. Enter the label name for the field. Adjust the size of the icons and spacing between them. Click Update to save and preview to see the changes on front end. Here you can see on mouse hover rating icon gets highlighted. Now go back to Elementor Editor panel. And click on Add Item. Enter the label name relevant to the field here. Click on Type and select Tell field from the drop down. Scroll down and turn on the Country Code switch to add Country Code drop down in Tell field. Turn on the Auto Detect switch to enable geolocation based auto country selection. Click on Update to save and preview to see the changes. Here you can see Country Code drop down has been added to Tell Field. Thank you for watching.